Hey, this is a little different from my usual gaming content, but how about furry? What can I say? So when I was making my first zone out of land water, I wanted her to be a grey wolf, but since it's the most used species, I needed her to look different. I didn't want to go the sparkle dog route, so I gave her Saturn markings, Morse code, and an uptail. Lately I've been redesigning her. I'm not too happy with her current face design and figures she could use a revamp. Also, a lot of y'all don't like her nubtail, which I understand. So in the new version, I decided to make the nub an option. She could either have a nub or a wolf tail. I don't know the lore behind this, but who cares, it's magic. My process didn't really have any method. I knew I needed a pattern to cut out the foam with, so I started by taping cards wrap paper together, which I could draw on top of and cut out. I looked at some reference images of normal wolf tails, and a fair sized tail usually went to the person's knees and curved outwards. I wanted mine to hang a bit below and have a more S-shaped look. Ren boo hoo! I'm a real pretzel one here. An important note, this is my first time making anything fursuit related. All of my suity bits are made by different people, and you can find more info on that in my Alkaline Fursuit Wiki on my Frank Manal page. <laughs> oh, damn, I get distracted so easily. I had already been staring at paper for a full on hour. Who you getting text from, girly? Oh yeah, I have no friends. Circus animal cookies? Really? Yes, thank you. Lovely. Once I'd given up and decided on the shape I could tolerate, I slowly started cutting into the paper. One of Alkaline's earrings had fallen off, so I figured while I had the glue guns out, I might as well. Oh, look, we're twins! <laughs> Just kidding, we're the same person. And then I went for a pasta break. I realized I didn't have enough time to carve the foam, so I put it away. The way to make fursuit tails move better is to cut notches in the foam to give it a wider range of motion. I always like making a second draft of things, but start from scratch. I find it helps me improve the original or find an idea I wouldn't have come across otherwise. Then it was back to the same old adjusting, readjusting, and painting. Come on, you're not a monkey, you're a wolf, so like a person. One thing about big tails is the pillow test. The first one is thinner, but with a better shape, and the second one is thicker and bulkier. I left for the night by setting up an Instagram poll for y'all to decide which tail you liked better. Pattern 1 won the vote. I've gotten 3 inch, 1 inch, and 1 centimeter foam. My mother recommended cutting the foam with a bread knife, so I figured I'd give that a try. Yeah, it didn't work.
foam, foam, foam. Would you like M or F? How do, how foam, how scissors. This actually ended up being really fun. Finally, it was time to start carving the foam. It'll get a lot wider when we add the one inch, but it does indeed pass the pillow test. The one inch foam was super easy to cut through, only needed two steps. I glued down the edges of the 1 inch foam, but that ended up being a mistake. I found pinching the foam and lifting it up was the easiest way to cut off chunks. I used the bread knife to cut the glue around the edges, and I cycled scissors to keep them from dulling. I really had no idea what I was doing. Just trial and error, I guess.
I didn't think it was wide enough, so I glued on some one centimeter foam. Since I was gluing on a curved surface, I had to actually hold it down, which was boring. I didn't want to carve down too much of the centimeter foam, just round out the edges and blend everything together. The width of the tail still looked weird, so I glued some of the scraps I'd saved on there. This video is already 6 hours of footage, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Subscribe for part 2, and join the discord to be a part of future projects. I love you, and have a good one!